Hey guys, I'm Ray here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we are playing in this global tournament going for the big 20 wins with the Expo Mortar deck. That's right, I'm bringing it back. It's a little bit of a cheaper variation this time just because that cheapness makes it a lot more versatile. So overall, still a very, very fun deck to play. Counters the meta pretty well if you know what you're doing. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and hop into some matches and show you guys exactly how to play this deck. Alrighty, starting off this match going to be against B1RS4 from Last Clashers. Good luck. And yeah, starting off here with the Tornado, I always want to have the opportunity to activate King Tower. So of course I won't make the first move, but since he uh, played the Bar Barrel, I kind of had to there. Uh, so Bar Barrel and Baby Dragon looking like Graveyard, uh, which is not actually that great of a matchup to be honest with you. So, oh dear. Oh, actually, you know what? Elixir Golem is not that bad of a matchup. Uh, obviously, now that my Inferno Dragon's out of hand, that's gonna be some trouble. Uh, actually, that's a lot of trouble here, so we're gonna have to be very careful here. So let's go ahead, go in with a bowler behind. Um, let's push. Uh, and then we're gonna have to NATO as well, NATO the Battle Healer away so that it does not get the value that we want it to. And then... We're gonna get a lot of elixir, and then let's just go in with an expo here on offense. I think he has like a night witch. He'll probably oh no, he's got bar putt as well. Uh, really unfortunate there. And then ooh, okay, I'm gonna actually fireball the barbs out. Um, I'm hoping the barbs won't spawn in time, and the expo will get a lock on. But luck, uh, well for him, I guess lucky for him, he got a heal spirit down. So. Yeah, that'll be that. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Expo does lock onto the tower. And as you can see, we actually have quite a few answers to a lot of these cards. Uh, so let's go in with another Mortar immediately here. He'll probably play his E-Drag or he'll play his Elixir Golem. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Trying to think what the move is here. He'll probably E-Drag here. Um... Oh no, he'll E-Drag opposite lane, interesting. Uh, oh no, the Elixir Blob split. Uh, that's a little unfortunate there. But we're gonna get a lot of Elixir here. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Um, play an Expo in the opposite lane. And as you can see, he's just really struggling to defend here. Like, it's honestly kind of hard for him. So let's go into the Mortar opposite lane as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into the Bowler here. Onto the Barbs. Uh... Okay, it'll be a little bit. Oh no, actually, no. Never mind. He wasted his E drag, so we're we're, we're free to Inferno Dragon here. Hit, the mortar's locked onto the tower now, uh, so yeah, that's gonna give us a lot of elixir as well. So let's go ahead and play another mortar immediately. I'm gonna fireball all of this stuff out of the way, uh, and then Inferno Dragon's locked on the tower, so he'll have to play his E drag there, or else that tower is down. Oh no, he's gonna nade everything backwards. I don't think he has elixir for the elixir uh, for the for the electro dragon. And look at this, guys! Absolutely shutting down elixir golem. This is my favorite matchup in the entire game. Just look at this. I mean, come on, come on, elixir golem. More like noob golem. Ha, get it? Because elixir golem is annoying to face. But this deck absolutely shuts it down. So if you just despise elixir golem, this is definitely your deck. Alrighty, next up we're gonna be against Inigo Aaron Zabel. Um, okay, so yeah, I definitely pronounced that one wrong. Uh, but yeah, starting off here, uh, Nato's next card. I'm a little bit tilted because I just absolutely threw a game against Graveyard. Uh, oh, are you kidding me, dude? This is such a bad matchup. This is a really, really bad matchup. Um, Mortar Bait is just so hard. Mortar Bait is really, really hard. Um, mm, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, and then activate King Tower here. Okay. Okay, okay. So that's an activated King's Tower. That'll be good for me. Um, let's go in with an Ice Wizard here. Uh, he'll probably just Musketeer. Yep, Musketeer there. So let's go Skeletons to do a little bit of distracting. And Mortar will actually lock onto the tower. Alrighty. Uh, of course, he'll have Spear Goblins because his deck is super fast. Uh, let's actually Mortar here once again. 
and that'll force him to be just constantly defending and i don't think he got yeah he definitely did not get that mortar down in time let's go that'll be a little couple more damage for us two hits i think maybe three maybe three come on come on ah looks like just two uh but i mean what can i i can't really complain here i'm pretty ahead and this is a really really bad matchup because his fast cycle can just really screw me over uh so yeah let's see here so Inferno Dragon in the back, he'll probably play that Musketeer or something along those lines. Um, I'm thinking Expo here once again, and then we're gonna NATO. Oh no, 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 Ooh, oh my gosh, of course, of course I screwed that one up. Because I'm not good at this game. Let's go Ice Wizard here, predicting that Musketeer. Uh, but unfortunately that Ice Wizard is just gonna die, so uh, yeah, he's gonna take out that Expo nice and easily. Hmm, okay, okay, see this is this is where it starts getting tough because Musketeer is so busted and like, uh, I don't know, I don't know man, I don't know. Uh, okay, so I think the move here is we defensive expo uh, and then bowler right up top. Hopefully I angled that properly, yep, there we go, we did angle that properly. Um, I think I'll just skeleton barrel here or something, nope, just a fireball, let's just... Hmm. Okay, let's let's just mortar here, and then a few musketeers. No. Okay, so we're just gonna nato that. Um, uh, boy here for the knight. Okay. Well, I was predicting a musketeer, but whatever. Same thing. Um. Let's see. We're gonna snipe that musketeer real quick. Uh. And then we're just gonna actually. I kind of want to save the fireball. He'll, he'll just. Oh, actually, we're just gonna fireball that. Um. All right. There we go. Let's go in with a mortar in the center, like so. Let's NATO see if we can predict some of those goblins. Ah, oh, looks like we can't, unfortunately. Uh, let's go in with an ice wizard here. Um. Okay. So we're gonna go in with a bowler here. Angled that so that the knight, so that the bowler with its super long rock will hopefully angle towards that. Uh, I think, yep, he's going to go in with those Spear Goblins, so Defense and Mortar will do the job, and let's see here, we're just gonna, okay, Inferno Dragon here, uh, Ice Wizard for the Mortar, yep, I knew he was gonna Mortar there, so I immediately went with the Ice Wizard, uh, let's go in with that right there, um, okay, that'll be that out of the way. We're just gonna NATO the Skeleton Barrel, okay. We're gonna Fireball there, that's gonna hit the Mortar, which is pretty good for us. Um, hmm, 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 Okay, so last minute here. This is going to get a little bit hectic because, I mean, he's got Triple Elixir, so he can like, he can, he can cycle insanely quickly. That's honestly what I'm worried about here. Uh, so we're gonna Inferno Dragon up high, Skeletons here to distract. And there we go, that'll be that push out of the way. Let's go in with a mortar here, like so. Uh, Ice Wizard there. Expo will snipe that musketeer out of the way. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna risk it with the predictive NATO. That's gonna get us a mortar lock, pretty sweet. Fireball there will kill the musketeer. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's cycle back to a bowler. Uh, that'll pretty much take out everything. 16 seconds left, and uh, I think we're actually going to come away with this match. Um, so yeah, 9 seconds left. Let's just go in with a NATO that'll clear the skeletons as well as the spear goblins, and that is actually going to be GG well played as timer runs out. So yeah, as you can see, Mortar Bait, it is a difficult matchup. Trust me, trust me. This didn't look that bad, but I'm actually surprised at how well this matchup went. Alrighty, next up against Dion from No Clan. Good luck. And yep, yeah, starting off with the mortar here. Uh, get to the NATO. Oh, Tesla. Oh no. Oh no. This this is probably Expo. Ah, uh, I hate this matchup with a passion, just like Mortar Bait. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna do that there. He'll probably go in with his archers. Uh, we're just gonna fireball that out with the knight. Uh, so he's played one, two, three, so he's back to the Tesla. Tesla there, uh, skeletons down. Ooh, unfortunately, that Tesla. Ooh, Expo, Expo, let's go! Expo actually takes the Tesla down, oh my gosh, and that is going to be uh, quite a bit of damage to start off the match. As you can see, I was able to keep track of his cards. I knew that once he played the Tesla, he needed to play four cards before he was 
able to get back to it. So I was able to just read him uh, like that. So uh, let's go in with another mortar here. Got to keep him on his toes here. Um, so he'll just knight. Uh, yeah, I think there's not much I can do there. I think I'm just going to Inferno Dragon like so. Uh, hmm, okay, so the archers are going to fly off. Uh, so that, that was kind of useless. We're going to take a lot of damage here, so not the best move on my end. Um, so we're, we're actually going to have to wait here. I don't want to play anything because my hand is quite expensive. So we're waiting for him to expo. Bowler immediately down uh, to finish that off. And there we go. Alrighty. Um, okay, and let's go in with an expo. Uh, expo immediately down. Let's go ahead. Predictive NATO, the Knights. There we go. And that will be a lock onto the tower. Um, well, hopefully, yes, the bowler takes out the archers. Let's go. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to react fast enough, so we're just going to have to let that expo die there. But as you can see, pretty solid start here. Uh, but yeah, this match is all about just micro interactions uh, and stuff like that. So we're going to mortar there. Uh, we're actually going to bowler like so. The angle will allow us to hit that expo uh, at least once. Uh, and then fireball will should be able to finish off the rest of that. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And now let's go in with a defensive expo. We need to start getting uh, a defensive presence on the field. Uh, oh, Bowler's actually going to splash onto the tower. Let's go. Uh, and then let's see here. He's going to knight there because obviously, I mean, he doesn't want to fall prey to the same trick twice. Um, okay, he's going to expo there. But that is, a oh my god, that is some value. Oh, <laughs> he screwed up there. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get some skeletons down. Unfortunately, did not get down in time. But let's just defense and mortar once again. Anti-fireball position as well. Okay, he's just gonna fireball the mortar. Okay, we're gonna cycle our Inferno Dragon here. And it's time for the expo. Yay. Uh, let's go in with a mortar here. Um... Let's see here. Hopefully he'll give us some fireball value on top of the expo. Um, okay, we're going to hit the ice spirit. Pretty cool. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be a tornado, but whatever. That's actually going to work in our favor to help the Inferno Dragon damage everything down. And that is going to be a GG. Well played. Expo takes down the tower, taking down a 2.9, or I think 3.0 because he had the knight. A 3.0 expo cycle deck. Alrighty, so this match here against a Chinese player from a Chinese clan. Good luck. Starting off here, no tornado in sight. Let's go in with a mortar to start. Skeletons as well. Ooh, looks like we've got a Ram Rider. Interesting. Uh, so luckily we have a bowler that'll reset the charge of the Ram Rider. And then Ice Wizard here should do a pretty good job at stopping the rest of this stuff hopefully the ice wizard slow will be enough to take down that inferno dragon i really hope it is uh so it looks like we're against a ram rider deck now this is not too bad of a matchup of course he has a mega knight which makes it a lot harder to deal with so the big question here is whether or not he has um whether or not he has uh an e-wiz that's kind of the big question here so we're gonna expo here oh of course he has an e-wiz of course. Oh no, we're, we're in big trouble now. Uh, we, we are in big trouble. Uh, oh no. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to do this, and then we're gonna bowler here. Okay, okay. Um, okay, we're gonna NATO that Mega Knight backwards. Oh, that was a bad move. Uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. We need a fireball ASAP. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well, I, I guess we're still 300 damage ahead, so I guess it's not the worst, but that definitely was not an ideal defense whatsoever. So don't do that. Uh, I, I was kind of banking on the fact that he did not have an E-Wiz, and then like as soon as I played the Inferno Dragon, he played down an E-Wiz, and I was like, oh, well, uh, I guess there's not much I can do there. Um, okay, so, uh, gosh, what to do? Okay, so let's go in with a mortar here. Unfortunately, he's going to barbell right there. And of course, he's right back to his Mega Knight. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do this uh, right there. Um, oh, unfortunately, the angle is not matched up. I'm just going to fireball out the E-Wiz. 
and he's going to go in with that. So let's go in with an expo here. Um, yeah, that that that's not going to go well. Um, okay, so we're going to Ice Wizard here. Uh, let's just slow everything down, and we're going to Mortar as well. I think he'll E-Wiz or Mega Knight, one or the other. Okay, we're going to Fireball that. Um, okay, he's going to Mega Knight now. 20 seconds left. His E-Wiz is out of cycle, so I'm actually going to do that. Um, hmm. Okay, so we need to do this. Get the bowler down ASAP. 10 seconds left, guys. Uh, let's go ahead. Skeletons here. We're going to NATO this Ram Rider back, and it looks like we're actually going to get away with this match. As you can see, by making sure the, uh, the Inferno Dragon does not get reset by the e -Wish, and utilizing the Bowler's Rock to be able to, you know, take stuff out, uh, we are able to take out Mega Knight Bridge Bam relatively easily. So there we go, as you can see, 20 and 4, not the best run in the world, but uh, yeah, 20 wins is still 20 wins, enough to unlock pretty much every single one of the rewards on this track. So yeah, this deck, definitely one of the funnest decks that I've played in a while. It's so much different from all the other decks that you're playing now in the meta, that it's just so fresh and honestly, definitely a highly recommended deck that you guys should try. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. Huge thanks to all of my channel members, you guys are the absolute G's. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.